let us assume that we are studying 2 Timothy chapter 1 and we want to investigate any historical and cultural allusions in the passage, including references to people, places, events, things, concepts, etc. A great way to do this is to search one of our Bible dictionaries or encyclopedias for, for citations of our chapter or one of the verses in our chapter. This is how we do it in ESORD. Firstly, we're going to maximize the dictionaries section of our screen by clicking on dictionaries. Choose a favorite dictionary or encyclopedia. I've chosen ISBE. And now we want to run a search within ISBE. So I click on the search button. I have a choice to type either a whole chapter or a single verse to do this. Let's start with a single verse, which is 2 to. That's the way verse references to 2 Timothy are entered in ESORD. And let's say we start with 1 verse 16, just a single verse. I must then come across here. I don't want to search for all the words. I want to search for references to that exact phrase. 2 Timothy 1 verse 16. And I can hit the search button. That will bring up a listing of articles that cite 2 Timothy 1 verse 16. As you can see, I have hits for Chain Chains, Household, Onesiphorus, Philosophy, Punishments, and Refresh, Refreshing. Each of these articles would explore some cultural concept, historical event, or person, etc. that's part of the verse I'm studying. If I want to switch to a different dictionary, for instance Easterns, I can simply change the dictionary and rerun the search. Here I only get hits for Chain and Onesiphorus, a person who's referenced in 2 Timothy 1 verse 16. An alternative to searching for a single verse is to search for the entire chapter. That's going to give me all the places that what 2 Timothy 1, any verse in 2 Timothy 1, is referenced. And I'm back in ISBE, so let's run that search. Now, naturally, we are going to get a much longer list of hits. Some of them will be relevant, some of them will be less relevant. And we would need to search for these and see what each of them has to do with 2 Timothy. So if I click on Commend, I can search and look for, where is it referenced? Well, there, 2 Timothy 1 verse 14 is referenced. And I could read this little article to see if it's interesting and helpful to me. This is a fantastic way to find information about historical and cultural allusions. And at the same time, to broaden your general knowledge of the world of the Bible. I recommend that you use it extensively when studying passages. An interesting addition to this is to switch to the Knaves topical textbook. If I switch to Knaves instead of to in one of the other dictionaries and rerun my search, what I'm going to get is an unbelievably helpful list of cross-references. So, for instance, if I click on the article to Assurance, here I can see that my passage is referenced under the subject of Assurance that's produced by faith. And we could go and look for many other places where our passage is listed under a list of cross-references. Hope you find that helpful. So, the recommendation to investigate historical and cultural allusions in a passage. Choose a good Bible dictionary or encyclopedia and search for references to your chapter or to a particular verse in your chapter and read some of the articles that pop up.